A 100-year-old real-life love story with roots in the Susquehanna Valley is now being told by a woman halfway across the country. All she had to go on were letters that the couple wrote to each other until News 8's Lancaster County reporter Caitlin Smith got involved. It starts off, um, you know, my dearest John. But this is no dear John letter. This handwritten note tells a true love story. Every single letter is still in its original envelope, which told me that they were something that was very treasured. Something that intrigued Stephanie Knudsen when she found a pile of them discarded and up for sale at a vintage market in Chicago, Illinois, where she lives. So instead of buying a magazine to read for an upcoming trip, she bought a few of these. She tells him she loves him multiple times um, in the letters, and you just don't, you don't really see that anymore. The real-life romance had Stephanie hooked. She went back and paid about $75 for a total of 109 letters. They were all written between 1905 and 1910 by Daisy Holsworth. Her address on the letter, 435 West Orange Street in Lancaster to John Henderson. It just kind of struck me, and um, just the way that she wrote was just was very beautiful and very heartfelt. Now Stephanie is posting the letters for you to read. November 5th. We started researching Daisy and John and hit a lot of dead ends. We found Daisy graduated from the then Millersville Normal School in 1902 and went on to be a teacher. But her class picture is not labeled, so we can't tell which one is Daisy. Right there. Here's the couple's marriage announcement in 1910. The pastor was from St. Stephen's Church which no longer exists. But you can see it was once in this building on South Christian Street. It's since been renamed. From the couple's will and obituaries, we know their ages, so we can tell they started writing to each other in their early 20s. But the couple never had any children. Now they're buried at Mellinger's Mennonite Cemetery in East Lampeter Township. After 46 years of marriage, Daisy died at 72, John at 78. He never remarried. I would love to find pictures of, of what they look like, and you know, we have these images of, of what they look like in our heads, but to really know that they were living, breathing people, uh, it would be great to, to find out more. Well, we did find out more. We learned that this house on Lincoln Highway East is where Daisy and John lived until they died, and we met with the relatives who remember coming here to visit them. Uncle Jack and Aunt Daisy. That's what the family called them. Take a look. Here's Daisy, and Jack is right behind her. You can see him better here. He's the tall one in the back. I mean, she was the loving, nurturing, and and Uncle Jack was kind of the business type. And yet he's the one that must have saved all of her letters. The basement of the home still has that dirt floor like their great nephews remember, and a sign bearing John Henderson's name. But the family had no idea those letters existed. Wow. You know, it could be a Hallmark movie. Somebody's got to tell me how to get on a blog so I can read them. <laughs> What's still a mystery, though? How the letters ended up in Chicago in the first place. In Lancaster County, Caitlin Smith, News 8. Well, Stephanie says she has now learned that someone in Indiana has even more letters from Daisy, but they haven't found any from John Henderson yet. And we have a link to Stephanie's blog on WGAL.com.